Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian. This is Benji, and we have a quick little ditty here today to help you get the juices flowing, help you focus, reboot, or refocus. Just a little pick me up for the mind and body. So let's hop on the mat and find what feels good. Okay, let's begin at the top of the mat today in Mountain Pose. Jumping right in, so it's up to you to really bring the breath. Take a big inhale in, stand up nice and tall. Big exhale out. Big inhale in, maybe loop the shoulders, ground through the feet as you exhale. Big inhale in, this time reach the fingertips all the way up. Full body stretch. On an exhale, take the right hand over to the left wrist, side body stretch as you tilt to the right. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, side body stretch as you tilt to the left. One more time on each side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tilt. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tilt. Coming out of that crumpled up state here. Beautiful. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bend the knees. Take it all the way down to a forward fold. So just take a couple moments to hang out here, shaking the head, a little yes, a little no. Try to draw your navel up and in here, create a full body experience. Great, and then feet together or hip width apart, doesn't matter, just nice conscious footing. We're gonna bend the knees, right fingertips come down in front, and inhale, left fingertips as you open up towards the sky. Big twist, to draw the shoulders away from the ears, find extension through the crown. Inhale, exhale to release and switch. Left fingertips replace the right, opening up through the right arm this time. Big inhale, and big exhale. Inhale, reach. Imagine someone pulling you up from the right wrist. And exhale to release everything down. Great, inhale, halfway lift here. And exhale, fold. Plant the palms, step or hop it back to plank. Pedal it out here, move through a vinyasa, just one of these today, so nice and slow. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale to down dog. This is my version of down dog, and that's his version of down dog. <laughs> Inhale in. Exhale, hop the feet up towards the top, or step the feet up. Forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Long neck. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bend the knees generously. Come into chair pose here. Send the hips back, fingertips forward. Tailbone's gonna lengthen down a bit here as you open the chest, open the heart towards the front. Big breath in here, just waking up the legs, stimulating the energy of the body. Lift your toes, one more breath. Then exhale, twist to the left. Outer edge of the right arm to the outer edge of the left thigh. Find length in the crown here, you got it. If you want to open it up, you can here. One more breath. Then exhale, release everything, straighten the legs, forward fold. Back to chair, here we go. Send the hips back. <clears throat> Excuse me, scoop the tailbone. Or rather, lengthen the tailbone down and open up through the chest, open through the heart. So lengthen tailbone down, open chest. Big breath in, lift the toes. Then exhale, find your twist on the other side. Try to keep the knees together here. Again, nice long extension through the crown of the head. Big breath in, big breath to release. Woo, awesome. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Spread the fingertips, inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, rain it down. Hands come to the waist and we'll slide the left foot back. So we're gonna pivot on the left foot, <clears throat> coming into warrior two. So nice wide stance. Front knee over front ankle. Hands can stay on the waistline if you're new to the practice and you're like, whoa, that was just a lot. <laughs> so we're kind of giving the thinking mind a break and really paying attention to the sensations of the body and the breath. So stay here if you need to, otherwise reaching the fingertips out. Imagine someone pulling you with your right wrist forward. Gently pulling you, tugging you by the left wrist back. 
Find your breath. Good. One more inhale in. On your next exhale, straighten through the front leg. Send the hips back. Send the hips back and reach the right fingertips forward. Slow tilt into Trikonasana today. Triangle. Right shoulder comes forward, heart opens up towards the sky. Length through the crown, big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, someone pulls you up from your left wrist, open the chest, open the heart, back to warrior two. And then we'll, whoa, then we'll turn the right toes in, left toes out, same little ditty on the other side. So find your footing again, hands can stay on the waist here as you ground and begin to wake up through the legs. I have Foundations of Warrior Two video if you wanna check that out, we break it down. Someone pulls you from the right wrist, find length in the side body. Someone pulls you through the left wrist, head over heart, heart over pelvis, find your breath, sink deep. Good, and one more inhale in. And use your exhale to press into all four corners of your left foot, straighten through the left leg, send the hips back, stay long in the side body, Slow reach forward and then over into your triangle. So resist the urge to collapse here. Work on that core. Spark a little fire in your belly here and stay connected through the spine. One more breath here, doing awesome. Deep breath in. And then imagine someone lifting you up from your right wrist as you come back to warrior two. We'll bring the hands to the waist and straighten through the front leg. Turn both toes in this time. I'm just gonna walk back a little bit. Both toes in. We find our power pose here. Loop the shoulders. Nice reboot posture here. Standing wide-legged forward fold. We got it going on. Let's do this. Inhale. Stand up nice and tall. And exhale, ground through the feet. Inhale, lift your heart, lift your sternum. Exhale, slow reach forward. Heart reaches forward, hips <clears throat> hinging here, and nice and easy. We keep flat back as long as possible. Draw the shoulder blades together here, elbows nice and wide. Keep activation through the navel, through the abdominal wall here. And then we'll release the hands down. Okay, if this is much too much, uh, you might skip the forward fold part and just roll back up. Stay in your power pose. Otherwise, you can bring a block or a chair or a pillow or something around uh, to lift the earth up to you. Or just stay light on the fingertips. Eventually, we're walking the palms all the way back in line with the arches of the feet. We're keeping the shoulders plugged in and the crown of the head will come to the ground. So, I don't typically do, you know, even my practice on the channel because I want everyone to feel like they're being taken along for the ride, but just check out where you are today. If you have an inversion practice, maybe you pop up there for a moment, stay mindful, integrated. But only if you have that practice. To come out of the posture, press in your foundation, engage through your center, and slowly walk the palms all the way back up. Soft knees here as hands come to the waistline. We loop the shoulders and lift the heart. Hmm, awesome. Hop the feet together or heel, toe, heel, toe, all the way back to your mountain. Draw the palms together at the heart. Take a deep breath in and let a big exhale out through your mouth. Close your eyes. Notice how you feel. 